and gets to and gets to finish the sample. So in our notation, we put, we you write the sample. You write the sample right here, uh, uh, right here to the left. And, and here's this is kind of like a sample bank right here, where where you have um, you know this sample one, sample two, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a sample two. You can you can put in, in that in that section you can put one measure. To, like if you're if you're actually just um, playing out a song. Um, you can just put one measure in there, and and it w and that distance will represent one measure in the song, okay? And you, you and the reason why I use that for is because let's say I just play this record out, and it just keeps on going. The line will go off the page. So so what we use it in, in the same light that you use in trigonometry, using quadrants and sectors, so that once it goes past the line, it starts back again at the bottom but you notate that it's in the next that it's in the next measure or in the next sector or the next quadrant so so if it's a really really long sample and it goes past your 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 um your range it's going to start back again at the at at the beginning or or wherever you want however you have it um how however you define your 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 staff your musical staff <clears throat> So right, so right here is an example of this is just a beat that's being played, and you see that it has a it has the the line is just going across and it's going across and it's, and and that means it's just it's just being played and it's starting back again at in the next sector which and, and in this and in, in this example it says you can see it says one measure it just says one measure so that means each measure of this beat is equivalent to the is 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 is, is the length of this actual. Uh, of this graph. Oh, what's your question? Oh, okay. yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. We, we've okay. Um, all right then. Um, Okay, yeah, like I said before, um, let me see. Let me actually, let me actually open this up. Uh, okay, there's, there's basic techniques that I can go through. Um, I, I'm not gonna, I don't have time to do all of them that, that DJs use in the repertoire. And one of them is, is called, is, I mean, one of the major ones is mixing. And mixing involves just, is, is just is, involves taking two or more beats and 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 making them so that they're the same speed so that they can overlap on top of each other without any type of rhythmic dissonance and and a, another type is backspinning and that's when some when a DJ is actually looping a segment of a song by playing one with one turntable and then in in rhythmic time bringing the next one in um, bring the next one in and then keep on, keep on going back and forth by, by playing the playing this one sample here, then playing the next sample and playing the next sample, and that's you know, and that's called uh, backspinning. So here here we have the notation for backspinning. If you have um, more, I mean, similar to similar to to Western notation, where you have you know, if you have a piano with you know, with you're using two hands or using more than one hand or you're using more than one instrument. Um, there's two staffs. One staff represents one turntable, and the other staff represents the other turntable. So you can have, you know, as many you can have 50 turntables. You can have uh, as many staffs as you want. You can have, you know, as many um, pieces as you want. So writing scores has all the same principles and 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 uh, nuances. Let it hit him. the <laughs> Okay. And then there's something called drumming, where a DJ, they, they take, there's a sample of a kick and a snare like this. So it's just a sample of a kick and a snare, followed by a snare. And they, and they reconstruct it, because uh, that's basically what all, all DJing is, is just reconstructing and, and re-manipulating and, and replacing um, 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 pre-recorded sample sound. So they, so this is called drumming, like. So that's so so 
that's just taking that kick and that snare and replacing them in different ways and, and being able to create whatever type of patterns that, that you want from, from those um, pre-recorded sounds. And we have, uh, um, and, those symbol, and those symbols can be represented by, by things that we have in our book and, and, and I'll, be able to, I'll pass those out. <clears throat> So, so with so with this idea, like what's happened in the past ten years is that there's been DJs, ensembles, and crews, and bands that have formed that that one DJ will play. I mean, like like one DJ will just play the drums, and another DJ will will have a, a, a sound of just a tone, a bass tone, and they'll play the bass. And they'll use the pitch control on the, on the turntable, which is the speed control, and that'll that changes the pitch. And they'll, they'll, and they'll that that one turntable will still be the bass, and another turn turntable will be the the lead vocal. Um, is this is this hooked up? Yeah. Oh, it's hooked up the volume. It, it should be. <laughs> So in that example, there's three there's three parts, and 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 um, which you see, actually one of them had like a, a, a wah pedal on one of the on one of their turntables, but you know all those all three of those DJs they just they were playing a song, but and, and they're using pre-recorded parts, but none of, none of the parts that they were playing were more than you know a second long. So so none of those DJs were just letting a, a record play and they were scratching over it. They were all completely creating that. One of the DJs was creating the beat. One was playing the the uh, the, the trumpet type sample, and the other one was playing the, the vocal sample of the, the actual vocal sound that was being scratched. So so what so what DJs are doing these days is 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 um, they're they're breaking down beats to the smallest levels, um, you know, and they're and they're taking those beats and they're and they're completely creating completely new compositions and you know so I mean people still don't, really don't see the. Uh, People, a lot of people still don't understand the musicality of, of, of turntablism and, and really understand what they're doing, but DJs right now are, are you know, creating you know, ensembles and, and creating pieces, but as it stands now, just these things haven't been written down and they've, they've all been through an oral tradition and, and, and you know, through visual means and just through word of mouth. <clears throat> but, but also, um, beyond that, uh, the turntable is actually able to play any note, you know, that almost any instrument can play. In, in the sense that the the, turn, the turntable can conduct live um, transposing, live transposition. So just like you, like if you understand um, sampling on on a keyboard, um, you know, when you take a sample and you change the and you change the uh, the speed of that sample, like if you speed it up without using a pitch shifter or correct, um, harmonic correct or whatever, when you speed up things, you know, the, the pitch tends to go up and when you slow them down, the pitch goes down. So since the turntable is a velocity acceleration based instrument, it can play any pitch. So basically, So basically, um, in this booklet, this is just version 1.0 of this booklet, and we don't go into um, really a lot of complex musical notation, um, but um, DJs can actually play scales and actually be able to, to, to do any note just through changing the pitch. And let me see. <clears throat> Oh, 
there we go. So here's just a, a tone playing. So so right now, um, DJs make records for each other and themselves uh, with with samples of our particular notes and 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 um, just samples that they can use to make compositions themselves. So a lot of the times they're not just buying regular records; they're buying records that are made by DJs that have special samples on it and, and special things on it so that they can um, orchestrate. So it's like by changing the speed, you can see. As it stands, um, turntables um, um, are able to speed up, you know, from around eight percent to, to like plus plus or minus eight percent or plus or minus ten percent. But right now, so and that and that only gives turntables really the ability to to use about maybe like two steps. But um, right now, there's more turntables that are being invented that that can go like plus and minus fifty or whatever. And 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 pretty soon, within the next few years, DJs will have uh, on the pitch control. DJs will be able to have a, a full scale. And so right now, there's only, you know, there's only a couple of notes. <clears throat> and right now, I'm actually going to show you um, translation. Let me see. Okay, the first thing you have to understand is that for, for any... For for any distance, like for like, like just like in regular music, um, for any wavelength, you know, twice that wavelength is going to be in general like an octave up, and and um, for for so for the examples that we've been using, like fresh, like when it was 75 degrees, we call that the the sample length. So for any particular sample length, that sample length times two, in 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 most practical purposes, that that sample length times two in general is going to be an octave up. So, so, so let's say I, so let's say I go from, I mean, it, dep it depends on the, the, the actual, you know, like, sinusoidal components of the actual um, sample that you're cutting, but, but let's just say everything works out in, 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 in perfect theory. Um, you know, let's say you go, if somebody scratches a sample and they're going from zero to, to 75 degrees in a certain amount of, in, in, in one beat, let's say, um, it'll, have, it'll have whatever sound to it. And if they go from zero to 150 degrees using that same sample and in oh, and, and that same amount of time, it's, it's gonna have a, a, a higher slope and it's gonna be twice as, it's gonna be, a, this is twice as fast, it's gonna be, in general, octave up. So I mean, they're, they're, so, like I have my turntable, um, I don't have an example of it here, but uh, divided into degrees and actually um, having frets on a turntable so that you can see, you can see distances and, and be able to actually see the ratios. Because as it stands now, turntables are really fretless and that, that, that if a DJ is... If a DJ is trying to um, sc actually scratch different notes, there is, it's, it's, it all has to be done really by ear, and 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 each note has its own um, you know set of proportions to it. So I'm gonna give you an example that's just a, more of a theoretical example, but I mean it does work, it it works it works for all for all music. Um, right here uh, I can't zoom in. Okay, but right here as you can see this 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 particular sample went from zero to eighty degrees, and let's say a beat, you know, and let's say that was C. You know, and this it goes from, and then if that same sample goes from zero to 160 degrees in that same amount of time, you know, be the next octave up, and 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 so on. Um, but I mean, it also depends on what note the actual turntable, what what note that the actual sound is too, for the for these things to really work. So so right now there's right now there's no turntables. I mean, in, right now battle records, records that have. Um, pre-recorded sounds in it that are that are designed for DJs, for turntables DJs, aren't really in key, aren't created in key or in tune, but pretty soon they will be. Um, so I mean, so once that's done, you know, people can actually will actually be able to, you know, scratch scales and play scales and and you know play with the best of them. And people can do that now, but it's but there's a lot there's a lot more um, um, technological barriers that actually are being um, uh, amended right now.
Okay, so right here, I just have like, just have kind of an example. Um, like let's say, let's say for instance, let's say that that if I move the uh, move the sample from zero to to ten degrees in one beat, let's say that just happened to be um, you know B C, and it happened to be a you know I'm a, now in this example, I'm I'm, I'm breaking down um, a whole wavelength into into its parts, and so so in this example, every uh, um, every every ten degrees. Um, um, correlates to just a half a step. So, you know, so really, <clears throat> so, so really, you know, turntables, you know, you can actually scratch notes. And, you can, um, and this is a, a very hard skill to actually do, to be able to, you know, move it that perfectly, you know, in, a, in amount of time. But, but you know, DJs are doing it and, and it's, you know, the, the art form right now is, is, is progressing at a very, very rapid, very, very rapid rate. And you know, there's new, new, more and more compositions coming out every day. <clears throat> so basically, in the example, I just kind of have I have a, a um, <clears throat> just showing correlation between pitch and speed, really, and and the distance it travels in in time. And <clears throat> so I mean, yeah. So right now, turntables don't have markings on it, so that DJs can know where to go. And and also, each different sound they use are going to have different ratios and different proportions. But does anyone have any questions? Well, I get this next picture up. Can you say read this notation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's like, let me get up. And, and somebody else was asking about, um, <clears throat> about do we have any examples of notation? But actually, let me play this quick time notation. first. This was actually an NYU event where we had we had a completely improv improvisational um, group of like eight um, turntablists, and they were just you know um, they were creating. <laughs> That was that was I mean a completely improv improvisational um, piece, and the other piece I showed you before was was actually was was all memorized, um, and I'm sure they wrote down some stuff too. But it was all all um, that was a pre-orchestrated um, piece, the one that I had showed you before, and they so they had memorized that piece and they do that piece. Those are the uh, Invisible Scratch Pickles, their group, and they um, and they've actually uh, you know done that piece um, you know a lot of times, and they've. And this space spin is actually memor in, in, in memorization, and with our system, you know, this, this reduces that, that, that time of, of having to memorize their whole routines that are very, very precise. Um, and I'll, I'll actually... Okay. We're about out of time. Oh, okay. So just, uh, yeah, play this example. Okay, I, yeah, I'm going to actually show this piece. Oh, let's see, Browse. Yeah, and uh, this is like a very simple example. Okay. So this is the first time we're going to Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, here's here's the actual piece. Let's see, we actually translate it because this was a piece that uh, this was a piece that was done by by uh, uh, DJ Rob Swift from New York uh, of the Executioners, and this piece was you know a highly highly orchestrated piece, and he and he had memorized this whole piece and and and. And he does this piece everywhere, but he had, this was never, um, you know, completely notated. And so we took we took that piece and we we notated and we transcribed it using our using our system. <clears throat> so you're gonna side this place right now? Oh, <laughs> uh, I could, but but actually I don't have the the samples because like right here in, in this in uh, in in this part of the. Uh, this part of the the the, uh, the, the staff, you put um, your reference and you put you know what record you're using, where to find that sample. So if somebody wants to recreate that, well, no, no, I, I I can I might be able to find that sample, but I'm really strapped for time. 
And but plus, I mean, it's a very it's. You can, you can go as long as you want. I just want people to know if they have somewhere to be. They, like they okay. okay. Can you vocalize it? Okay, so like so <laughs> so right here, um, there's 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 you can see that there's three different samples used in this um, used in this piece basically. Um, there's scratching. What is it? Ah, uh, and this is a representation of just a of a kick, of a of a the sound of an actual sample of a kick. Like you could write, you know, the kick and how long it is, but but to make things even shorter, it's just a it's just a um, notation for a kick symbol. Okay, so right here they're using the first sample, which is right here, which is scratching, and it's going scratching, and then this kick is playing right here, so it goes scratching, boom, and then it goes. Scratch, chit, chit. Does everybody see that? Because this, you can see that um, this line starts right here, and it whoops, and it correlates all the way over to this, and it's going. So, so, so this one is playing all almost all the way through, and it's going scratch, chit. And this one, this line right here, the second one is going chit, and so is this one's going. So it's like scratch, chit, chit. And then this is scratch, scratching. <clears throat> oh yes, actually, um, let me show this last thing. Uh, <clears throat> advanced, open. Okay, there's. Um, we have. Uh, we 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 use this um, to to represent a click. There's, there's two types of things, I forgot to say, there's two types of things, there's clicks and there's a cut. Now a cut is when somebody, when a DJ is playing a song. So, so a cut would be like if a song is playing like this and you, and you turn it off, and that's, so you're cutting the sound. But a click um, is also a technique that's used and, and, and that's represented by, by a black dot. Meaning that it really takes up no space and time, um, but but it's just an instantaneous um, t um, tapping of the actual fader and bouncing back. So the fader is only really off for an instantaneous second, but then it comes right back on. So like. <laughs> So, so when I'm doing that, it sounds like I'm going like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But really, I'm I'm only moving this record like this. I'm only moving like that. But the click with with the click, I'm 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 using that to using that click to to place a little division mark and 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 make it and increase the amount of of, of scratches. So that's why DJs can go like. DJs can do stuff like that, and I'm really only going that fast, but I'm 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 cutting the, the sound up into so many um, portions that it sounds like I'm doing a lot of a lot of things. So, does that answer your question? What was the question again? You're saying like crabs? Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a technique called crabbing where DJs. So we have notation for all these different things like like that when, when you're doing three things that when it's three clicks at once. This. Well this is a four finger crab. You see that there's four dots there and there's four clicks. And and you can use four fingers, you can use three fingers. <laughs> or you can use two fingers. 
and so that that's, that's basically it. So so from that, so from all these different ways you can cut them up, um, you can create. There's you know there's infinite numbers of scratches, and there's different, and each different scratch um, has has different sounds, and 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 you know like I can say this is not just a crescendo, but I'm doing this crescendo starting at you know this particular volume and ending at this particular volume or I'm doing this you know or this or this crescendo is more of an exponential crescendo I'm changing the volume um, you know at an exponential rate or, or at a logarithmic rate so so um, the, so that those fall you know underneath the staff and in a in similar place similar to Western music but it's actually more complex just because um, scratching is about using the volume um, changing the brightness and changing the volume and changing all these things um, so right, so right here, <clears throat> um, and a, fl a flare, you know, would sound like this. So if somebody wanted me to side read, and so, so this in this flare, in the composition of this flare, the black dot means um, that I'm I'm clicking at that at the point in time that's that's. Adjacent to it on the on the on the x-axis, and the second black dot means the same thing. So, and you can see that in in one movement there is a back in, in in this one scratch there's a backwards and forwards movement. So you can see this just this one wave, this one bump. Um, that's just like. But when I add those two black dots, there are those clicks. That that's what that's what it sounds like. And all these scratches right here are separated by these white. Um, these white um, circles and those are those represent just open fader position and those are just to separate scratches from each other because um, um, sc scratches when you when you join all of them together they could eventually look like a whole bunch of clicks which you wouldn't be able to really um, decipher you, you really wouldn't be able to decipher what's really going on with, with what Mixing it at going in reverse. It's like that. You're just like spinning back. Oh, I mean, just like. like. <laughs> well, well, one the one the beat would be just be going the, the the line would just like like remember I was showing before how you just put one measure inside of uh, the sample the sample bank. Well. One line would just be, the, they'd be the exact same lines, but, but yeah, like that, exactly, yeah. But it'd be, it'd, be it'd be notated on two separate turntables. So on turntable one, the line is going at this particular angle. The other one, the line is going at that exact um, same angle. Yeah, I mean, in the, in the composer's notes, you can put all, all different types of, you know, what, what things you want specified. And here's a, just the last little quick time of, of at this NYU event of, of somebody uh, actually doing a juggling routine. And this is actually taking a beat and re-manipulating it, taking two existing beats on two table, two turntables and, and re-manipulating those. I exhale. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know who's going to play. <laughs> In that example, the, the, the DJs were taking, you know, um, beats from two, 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 uh, from two records and they're restructuring it. And, and just like if you were, um, you know, just like a lot of jungle artists do or whatever, you... you hands on the information that's there too. Do you have like something else that's more substantial? I'm saying like what you were using to show us, the program, it's got these examples in it, but it seemed like you had a lot of other... Other things, my other writing. Yeah, this is the version. 
it's, this is just version 1.0 and it's, and it's just like a real, it's just an